The LMS 6399 Fury, built in 1929 by the NBL, the North British Locomotive Company in Glasgow, was one of a number of steam locomotives built around the world in the search for superpower steam. The locomotive was a joint venture between the London Midlands and Scottish Railway, LMS, with Henry Fowler as chief mechanical engineer, and the Superheater Company, with the latter having responsibility for constructing the complicated three-stage Schmidt-based boiler. The LMS provided a Royal Scott frame and running gear. However, the frames for Fury were not standard Royal Scott frames, but longer. The special nickel alloy high-pressure drum for the complex boiler was manufactured by John Brown and Company of Sheffield, with many boiler fittings imported from Germany. Apart from this, all other manufacturing was carried out by NBL. Being a three-cylindered semi-compound locomotive, it had one high-pressure cylinder in between the frames, which was an 11.5-inch bore, and two larger low-pressure outside cylinders of 18-inch bore. The primary generator was a fully sealed ultra-high-pressure circuit operating at between 1400 and 1800 psi. This steam circuit was filled with distilled water, which transferred heat from the firebox to the high-pressure drum. This raised high-pressure steam at 900 psi, which was taken to power the cylinders and also recirculate pure water. The third steam raising unit was a relatively conventional locomotive fire tube boiler operating at 250 psi, heated by combustion gases from the coal fire. The engine was technically an ultra-high pressure semi-compound steam locomotive. It was given the LMS number 6399 and then inherited the name Fury from LMS 6138, which had itself been renamed in October 1929. After short runs during January 1930, a longer test run from Glasgow to Carstairs was scheduled for the 10th of February 1930. As it approached Carstairs station at slow speed, one of the ultra-high pressure tubes burst, and the escaping steam ejected the coal fire through the firehole door, killing a Mr. Lewis Schofield of the Superheater Company. Subsequently, the burst tube was thoroughly examined by Sheffield University, but no conclusion was reached. The boiler was eventually repaired, and Fury moved to Derby, where a number of running trials were carried out in early 1934, mostly revealing significant shortcomings in the performance. Fury's rods and linkages were then removed, together with the indicator shelter and test gear, when in 1935 it was rebuilt by William Stanier at Crew Works with a more conventional Type 2 boiler and it was renumbered 6170 British Legion. Despite the accident, Fury was primarily an economic failure rather than a technological one. Although tolerating the trials from Derby, Stanier didn't devote much time or effort to rectifying the faults Fury had displayed. No doubt this was due to his many other work pressures and the development of the LMS turbomotive. Fury never earned any revenue for the LMS, and in fact it was said, Fury must have travelled more miles under tow than under its own steam. As many other experimental locomotives showed, the theoretical benefits of ultra-high steam pressure were very difficult to realise in practice. Fuel is only one part of the operating costs of a steam locomotive, maintenance is very significant, and introducing extra complications always increase this disproportionately. In France, there was also an accident. In 1933, the Schmidt System 482 locomotive suffered a burst ultra-high pressure tube. The failure was investigated, and if a single conclusion could be reached, Following both of these incidents, it was that inadequate water circulation in the ultra-high pressure circuit was responsible for the failures. This locomotive was eventually rebuilt in 1935 as a Royal Scott class 
numbered 6170 British Legion. We hope you've enjoyed this video of yet another unusual British locomotive. Please like, share and subscribe for more like this.